Today we're very happy to have Xiaoxi with us to talk about her experience in the department. Uh, Xiaoxi is one of the top students with highest GPA during her first year and we're very happy to give her um, a recognition during the graduate graduating ceremony Thank this so year. Um, so uh, today maybe let's start with uh, can you share a little bit about uh, about yourself like where did you go to school for your undergraduate and what sure. did you study? Yeah, so uh, so yeah, I went to a Budan University in China. My mas uh, my undergrad major is mathematics. So I think my mathematics background uh, helps me a lot with the statistics study because like all the probabilistics and statistical inference, it's a, like math oriented. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has uh, a strong base in mm -hmm. mathematics. So I think that is one of the reasons that I succeed in the statistic program. Yeah. And, um, but I also know that you're very good with computing, uh, doing project with a lot of uh, computation and programming. Yeah. So where did you learn how to program? So actually, like during my undergrad, I don't have much experience with programming, but uh, since I want to f uh, focus on the data science track. I know computing is super important, so I took some online courses uh, on Coursera, also on DataCamp, like to uh, strengthen my R and Python. Yeah, I think like in statistics department, we use R mainly, but uh, when we want to like uh, land on an industry, many people use Python. So uh, I learned Python on Coursera. Yeah. It sounds like you have done a lot uh, outside the courses. You, you've done well with your courses, you also have done a lot. Can you share with us one project that you have done outside the coursework that uh, when you are at Columbia? Uh, yeah, sure. So when I'm at Columbia, I did some Kaggle competitions. Kaggle is a website, I think it's by Google, and there are a lot of like competitions and also like data sets for you to explore a little bit. Uh, I did um, policy cancellation rates a competition on Kaggle. It is like a binary classification, and uh, by doing this project, I kind of have some idea of how to implement the XGBoost model and what this theory behind it, and also understand the uh, light GBM model mm -hmm. as well. And also, we use the uh, like the. Uh, most advanced techniques in Kaggle named stacking mm -hmm. like to improve our AUC score and uh, for this project I think one thing uh, which is very good for Kaggle competition is you can have some very messy data mm -hmm. that involves a lot of data cleaning because like I think 90% of time for the data science work is to do data cleaning mm -hmm. and data waggling. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's a good experience for you to uh, do some uh, real world data analysis. Yeah. yeah. I also like the fact that when you were doing the Kaggle competition, you recognize some of your classroom knowledge, mm -hmm. how that applying the project give you a, just another, almost like a confirmation that how you can use what you've learned in real world tasks. Yeah, yeah. so uh, in the statistical machine learning, I think it's a course I've taken in the second semester. Mm -hmm. We've learned uh, maybe the intro to uh, data science in the first semester. We learned some basic knowledge about uh, random forest and tree-based models. And it is the first model that I implemented in my uh, project, uh, mm -hmm. like this com Kaggle competition. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the course, I know what is the uh, theory behind the model, like what is the parameters I can tune, like what is the meaning of the parameters. Mm -hmm. If I don't know how the model works, I can't like tune the parameters because they, they just mean nothing to me. So uh, once I have a high variance or once I have a high bias, I know how to tune the model. Mm -hmm. So it's very important in the uh, like real world data analysis. Yeah, I, I feel like you have a great balance between classroom study and outside classroom projects. Yes, thanks for the mm -hmm. staff department. <laughs> <laughs> so um, another, another uh, can you share one course that you have taken at Columbia that gave you a very memorable experience in your course? Uh, I think the most memorable course um, during my three semester is applied data science. And in that course, we have five projects in total. 
uh, which really pushes you <laughs> to like finish because each project you only have three weeks to finish and each project is a totally new brand like view to you so you have to do some uh, domain research at the first week and the second two weeks you have to like uh, focus like discuss with your teammates how to implement how to split the work and uh, like do a lot of researches because it is so new to me I think like for the first project uh, it's a, a natural language processing project uh, only gives us two weeks to finish but like before that I have no knowledge like no background in natural language processing so it really pushes me to learn and uh, it uh, kind of like gives me a lot of experience. I think the workload is really heavy, but it really, really helps. And also like for the uh, like job seeking, the projects, the interviewers are really focused on the projects mm -hmm. you're doing. So with, the, with this course, you can have five projects in total and you can like uh, make your resume look a lot better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, for anyone who have seen your transcript and your resume would agree that you're a very high achiever. Um, so when you're at Columbia, um, is there anything else you have done outside your study and coursework that, uh, that uh, give you a very unique Columbia experience? Yeah, so outside my study, I joined a dance group. It's an urban dance group called CU Generation and uh, it has nothing to do with statistics i just i just a big fan of dancing so i want to like practicing dancing as well and uh, also it's my first like it's my first time here in the united states and uh, i want to make some american friends like to uh, just to uh, like kind of get into the culture here so i joined the this student group and uh, we dance twice a week together and we also hang out like during the weekend so yeah it's a really nice experience yeah, you sound you have been very busy <laughs> <laughs> so i think a lot of students who uh, also um, share your passion for data science and your your interest in in actual curricular activities some of them they found themselves um, struggle with time management mm -hmm. uh, is there anything you can share um, to your future uh, peers who are who want to do the same thing at Columbia what's your secret of uh, balancing all the activity you're doing um, so I think I think for the time management my secret is just to like you have to schedule your your day uh, like instead of uh, putting uh, like what you will be doing for the whole day I just put like uh, for example uh, from one to two I will do like this work from two to three or maybe from two to five I will do like the next homework and this deadline is strict for me so I have to finish it uh, because I don't want to like leave my work undone to tomorrow because like if I leave the work to tomorrow tomorrow I will say oh okay I still have tomorrow to go so yeah just to uh, make a schedule for yourself and make sure like you follow the schedule and don't push everything to the deadlines and also I, I think my schedule is kind of busy but uh, if you can find something you really like like for me I am really really into the data science so it kind of enjoyment to me uh, to learn and to practice to do the project because <laughs> sometimes I now I do analysis on the data sets sometimes I find something very weird or something mm, something like the model is performing very badly I'm kind of interested to it so I will like spend hours on it without any like tiredness or uh, complainment so you need to find the thing that you're really interested in yeah it kind of helps you to uh, to balance your time as well yeah okay so thank you for spending the time with us. Uh, maybe you. we can look into the camera and wish the good luck for uh, your future peers. Good luck. You can do it. <laughs>